Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Today I have a special guest for you. I'm going to introduce you to my wonderful English student. In this conversation, we're going to talk about their English learning experience, their past, and just general ideas about their life. It's a great privilege to be able to talk together. I'm so glad to introduce you to this student. And if you would like to talk with me on Skype like this student, all of the students who I talk with in these videos are from the Fearless Fluency Club. Each month I choose one, two, or three featured students who can meet with me and we make this short video together and have a conversation. If you'd like to join the course, there is a link in the description below this video, or you can check out up here, there's a little note so that you can join and meet with me and continue to improve your English. Let's meet the student. I'm so happy to talk with you today. I'd say that I was over eager to talk to you. <laughs> it's been a long time. Sure, it has certainly. And I know that we've interacted a lot on Facebook, in the group, in the course, all of those places, but nothing's the same as talking like this. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yes, yes. So tell me, can you remind me again, where are you living in Brazil? Are you in a northern, southern area? No, no. I, I live in Sao Paulo downtown uh, to be, to have a, an idea. The subway station is about 100 meters from my house. <laughs> wow, that's so close. Yeah, I am li I live in a busy city, downtown. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like that's probably a loud area too. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of noise nearby, but I I, I like so much to live here. So you'd rather live in kind of a busy area, loud area, than live far further away? No, so I, I live on the streets uh, surrounded by bank branches, uh, uh, bakeries, supermarkets. There's a, a lot of trade nearby. That's great. You can have a chance to just do any kind of shopping or get some little treats right outside your door. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I can do it by walking. It's it's pretty easy. Easy. Yeah. yeah, really convenient for you. Yeah. So I'm curious about your English journey. Would you tell me when did you start? What has it looked like? Did you go to classes? I know now you're learning online. What has the English journey looked like for you? Yeah, uh, as the most of English learner, I started learning English in a classical English school in Brazil, but uh, I have to say that it's, it was very boring because the English school, at least in Brazil, use boring textbooks and teach real and boring English. That is so different than we you watch a movie or we have some hangout with native speakers that is so different, some unnatural, some unrealistic. And I felt like uh, it's not good to do it, but I just, I made up my mind to, to set my own way to learn English. Sure. So you left that traditional style because you said it was boring, not realistic, <laughs> and decided to set off on your own path. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yes. Yeah, so what have you done on your own path? What kind of things have helped you? I know you use English a lot. You listen a lot. So could you explain a little bit about what's been useful for you? Yeah, as I had mentioned, uh, sometimes the group, uh, I've been working for a North American company called Moog for about four years, but in the beginning it was very tough for me because I had an interview in English. This is a very difficult interview because it was a situational interview. That's uh, uh, a kind of interview that uh, the director 
put you on a tough situation to see how you can deal with stress and conflict, uh, work under pressure and so on. That's horrible. To top it off, my English was not so good at that time. So you had to do all of that in English? Job interviews are stressful anyway, but you did it in English in that kind of stressful environment. And I guess yeah. you did well enough. You got the job. <laughs> yeah, but I'd say that it was a miracle, not for my skill, uh, for my ability, for God, for it was a miracle because <laughs> I, I have no, I had no chance to, to be approved on that interview. Right, right. So you just did your best and they approved of you and said, okay, we'll give it a try. So you got that job and do you use English in your job pretty regularly? Yeah, I often have twice meeting, uh, two meetings uh, per week and via Skype or uh, a specific tool called video because uh, I got very sad because my company cut off some travel expenses. So I had never opportunity to go abroad. My company is located, the headquarter is located in US, in the US and New York City. But believe it or not, I had never opportunity to go abroad. So mm -hmm. I love an expression which goes like that. With life, life gives you lemon, makes lemonade. <laughs> it's, it's my motto. Beautiful <laughs> mindset. <laughs> yeah. So for you, hopefully someday you'll get a chance to visit the headquarters. But until then, you're using English in those meetings on Skype and still working hard. And maybe someday you'll get to go to New York. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Yes, yes. I, I, keep my, I keep my hopes up for it. <laughs> Beautiful expression. Yes, you're keeping your hopes up. So tell me a little bit about your listening practice. Because I know you've shared a lot of useful information in our Facebook group and some books that you're interested in. What kind of stuff do you do after work to improve your English skills? Uh, as I mentioned in this group, uh, I consider myself a bookworm, auto bookworm to be more specific. <laughs> so I, I used to listen at least uh, eight hours a day, podcasts and uh, audio books as well. Uh, I'm really into English. I'm passionate about English. Uh, this is my drive, driving force to learn more. and. I, every single day I wake up and after I have a breakfast, I put my headset and started to listen podcasts. So I, I always pick out some interesting matters that pick my interest. And so such as finance issues, religious issues, and I like to, to, to some uh, self uh, help, self self help books, and and I set a goal to myself to to listen at least three other books a month. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> goal. That's quite an accomplishment, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, regarding the reading, I used to read at least three books above, uh, but it's a uh, pay close attention to the context. And after that, I make a, a brief about this book, a bit, uh, make a summary about the book. And I, I start some discussion with my colleagues and it's very interesting. Yeah, so you're not just listening, but you're trying to process that information and share it with your colleagues. That's exactly. a great way to engage conversations. Yeah, exactly. I always write down my thoughts about the book or audiobooks or podcasts or TED Talks, uh, whatever. Then I, 
I deep I dig deeper into the the man thoughts and I I built my own mindset and start up start out some discussion about it. It's very interesting. That sounds really engaging too because you're using it in different ways. Some people might think, oh, I'm just listening, that's it, but that's not it for you. You're doing a lot more than that. Yeah, I have a point that I'd say that I don't learn English, I live English. Beautiful, I love it. <laughs> and it seems like it's really working for you because first of all, we're having a conversation easily together and you've never been to an English speaking country. So listening and your methods and summarizing and talking with people really works. It's been successful for you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so in I, the I, I'd say that in the beginning, I felt somewhat uncomfortable to speak in English because I, I thought that it was funny the way that Americans speak, but uh, little by little, I get the hang of English and I started to mimic Americans <laughs> and it's very fun. I, I'm, I have fun by doing that and I like to mimic and to shadow native speakers. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's not just something that you have to do, it's your passion and there's no way that you could keep that up for six, eight hours a day if you didn't feel passionate. And you certainly do feel passionate. Yeah, that's it. Yes, yes. I'm curious, do you have any, because you love books, do you have any book recommendations? I know you read a lot, listen a lot, <laughs> but are there any books that you would say, oh yes, if you're interested in similar topics like finance, self-improvement, Here's some good recommendations. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> uh, one of my uh, favorite books is How to Win Friends and, uh, and Make and uh, Influence People by oh. Dale Carnegie. It's, that's a very great book. Uh, and another one is The Five Love Languages. Oh, great. Learning how to express your love and feel love from other people. Exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in the beginning of this week, I post a page of this book and I read out loud. <laughs> the, uh, yes, short, the Love short Languages message. book. Yeah, yeah. And this is an excellent way to use our group. I've loved listening to what you, how you're reading how other members too are reading things. I know Douglas is reading things, Martin is too. Everyone's trying to read the passage and it's not just about pronunciation, but you're learning something too from that material, like about finance or self-improvement. It's not just English. Yeah, that is the whole point. <laughs> yes, that is the yes. idea to learn. Learn English is, um, a consequence, but the most important is to, to use English as a bridge, not as a as a real fact of matter. But we need to use English to make connections, to spread the word, to to learn from other people, and to be a global citizen. <laughs> oh, it's, I couldn't have said it better myself. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what the purpose of language is we learn language as kids not because we love language when we're babies but because we have to communicate <laughs> and that's the best way nowadays too you're communicating with global ideas and books and thoughts and members in our community and your co-workers great yeah exactly there is no point in learning english by itself by english but you have to learn english to put english into practice to to make friends, to spread your ideas, and to learn much more. It's it's very indescribable thing about English. Yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful mindset because you're connecting with other people, and I think it's the best way to make world peace, unity, <laughs> because we're connected. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So. 
in conclusion, would you have any advice? If someone says, oh man, I would love to be able to speak like Edelson, how can I get there? What is some like advice or some number one tip that you would give to that person who wants to get there? <laughs> okay, I'd say not only for English, but for everything in life, we need to start off by asking ourselves, why do you really want to learn this thing? It's mm -hmm. very important to, to ask yourself why, because this response is the most important thing to help you to build a strong mindset and intrinsic motivation. And it's very important when the barriers started to come up over your path to English fluency. And we need to know what's the reason why you want to learn English. That's very important. It started with why. Uh, so you have a, a, a strong mindset and intrinsic motivation to keep going because there is not easy to learn anything in life. You need to put in some time on that, on that, and you need to make efforts and, but you need to, to see English as a pleasure, not as a boring work, as a grunt work, but as a pleasure. Uh, I think that there is no need you, you worrying about, you need to lose your accent because your accent, your accent is individual. There is no problem in, in accent, but in pronunciation is the problem. But uh, you need to, I think that is the three factors very important to become fluent in English. That is a clear pronunciation, the great vocabulary, but I, I, I mean helpful vocabulary, useful vocabulary, not, uh, you don't, we don't need to learn uh, the fancy words or difficult words, but the phrasal verbs that Americans say, right, uh, making and left and all the time, but we need to get used to phrasal verbs and have a clear pronunciation, to turn, tune your ears to, to pay close attention to American, uh, what, what have to say to you. And it's no need, uh, currently I'm watching the, uh, uh, comedy called Seinfeld. That is very difficult, way too difficult. The characters speak way too fast. There is no need to watch this, this series unless you wanna to challenge yourself, but you need to pay attention to what people are saying, not to respond, but to understand the message. Yeah, that seems really clear too, that you have to know why, because like you said, when it becomes difficult, if you don't clearly know why, you're probably going to stop. You're not going to follow that path. So you need to know why, and then make sure you have clear pronunciation. Don't worry about your accent, <laughs> but clear pronunciation Exactly. and stay motivated. That's excellent. Thank you for sharing that. I'm sure that that's really going to. Only, only, only the, the last thing uh, about mm -hmm. the what it's very important. Uh, you need to set up realistic goals. I mean, I don't know if you heard something about SMART, this is an acronym that stands for, stands by specific, measurable, attainable, and relevant and timely. We need to set up goals, smart goals. And- That is a great acronym. Yeah, you need to keep track of your goals and uh, make goals realistic, not far away from what you stand right now. <laughs> sure. So be honest and realistic about where you are right now and be realistic and make smart goals about where you want to go in the short term or in the long run. That's great. Exactly. Exactly. You, you need to take uh, one step at a time and to pace ourselves to avoid to burn the candles at both ends. <laughs> That's very great. <laughs> Focus <But> on <laughs> your goal. Exactly. <laughs> and I, those are good tips for just doing other things in life too, not just for English, but in life, if you want to do something new or learn something, make smart goals. Know why. Why do you want to do it? That's great for any kind of learning. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, so thank you so much for your encouragement today to other people and also sharing with me your story. I feel like in our Facebook group, I feel like I have learned so many different things that you've shared about yourself, but now talking to you face to face is awesome. <laughs> My pleasure. I got a kick out of our talk and I hope to have other talks ahead. And I thank you so much for your oh, support for pleasure. our group. <laughs> yes, thank I hope you. I can continue to just be there to give more information or feedback because you're certainly on the right path. You're doing so many great things. So I'll just give the best that I can. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad to hear that from you. And it's such a pleasure to be part of your group. And let's help one another to become fluent. That is the whole point. Yes, let's do it. Keep <laughs> up the good it. work. <laughs> Thank you. I hope that you enjoyed this wonderful conversation with my student. It takes a lot of courage to speak English with a native speaker and then share this conversation with the world on YouTube. So I'm really proud of them for doing this and I hope that it will encourage you to keep up the hard work, to continue to learn English, and I want you to let me know in the comments below this video, what is your English learning story? When did you start to learn English? What's your goal, your motivations? What are you doing now to continue? What would you like to do in the future? Share with us and we can learn from people all around the world and be inspired. Thanks so much and I'll see you later. Bye. The next step is to download my free ebook, Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker. This will help you know what is the next step in your English journey to help you really master English and speak fluently. Feel free to subscribe so that you get a notification every time there's a new English lesson. Thanks so much, and I'll see you later. Bye.